We're live from Lancer Field here in Farmville, Virginia, a meeting of the ACC and the Big South. Virginia Tech, 21-3, and 9-0 in the ACC, taking on the Longwood Lancers. And one across the nation. <laughs> That's right. Swing and a miss, strikeout for Emma Limley. Down goes DeVivi, and Limley has her first K of this Tuesday start. I said, how, how are we going to handle this uh, in that interview yesterday? Swing and a miss. Uh, right now, doctoring up things. That's Emma Limley. And uh, a surgeon-like, if you will, here early on. One away, and K's out, guess. Limley on the hunt for her fifth strikeout. There it is. Bastikas goes down via Emma Limley. Still scoreless after two full with the top third on the other side next, right here on ESPN+. Plus. Well, Natalie, you and I mentioned a little bit earlier, no seats here at Lancer Field in terms of you know, the bleacher seats. You may have to go onto the hill. Yeah. Yeah, Lauder with four home runs on the season. Just straighten it out. The three and two will miss low, and Lauder will walk to first. Ninth time this season that McKenzie Lauder has gotten a base on balls, and she's aboard with one away top of the third top pitchers this season as Backstrom coming in 20th in innings pitch that's a base hit down into shallow center off the bat of Darby Troll and the Hokies have runners at first and second one away top three one and oh to Whalen is lifted to left field still going back and into the glove and then against the left field wall Kelsey Brown with the impressive defensive play had to backtrack and use the wall for support. One away. What a catch. Pitch to Peck. And she will take her base. And Virginia Tech loads them top of the seventh. Jamie Bates. Bailey, who comes in with a two-game hitting streak. And again, you go back to that second-to-last pitch. As Bailey, fly ball, right field. It'll drop right in front of the NCAA logo. Two runs will score off of it. In fact, now three. It will be a three-run RBI triple to make this 5-0 Virginia Tech as the Hokies plate three and blow it open. Scoring is Green. Scoring is Bennett. Scoring is Peck on a big one to right field off the bat of the Red Hot Bailey. Limley looking for 14 and a complete game. No hitter. This one popped up. Handled at short, and that's a win for Virginia Tech. Bennett stares it down, and the Hokies take game one over the Longwood Lancers as part of this Tuesday doubleheader. 5-0 the final, and Tech is now 22-3. and three. Virginia Tech will look for the Tuesday doubleheader sweep as we get set to roll here on ESPN Plus as Virginia Tech now 22-3, and three, the Lancers 9-17. and 17. Tech coming in with that undefeated ACC mark here in non-conference competition at the Hokies of Virginia Tech. And they'll read like this, Darby Tull, Addie Green, Meredith Slaw, Bree Peck, Kelsey Bennett, Emma Ritter, Jamie Bailey, who had that big triple in game one that blew it open for Tech in the win. Morgan Overitis batting 351, and Mackenzie Lauder will round things out for the Hokies. The starting lineup for Virginia Tech That will get down, a base hit into left field off the bat of Addie Green. Green's 11th knock of 2022, a one-out base hit will place her at first base. Still hovering at 70 degrees right now, but get down into the low 60s by the time we wrap. Pretty quick game one, of course. Base hit drops down off the bat of Bree Peck at the feet of a charging in Lauren Fox. Runners at first and second now for the Hokies, two away, top first. Back, and they have that experience. Over rightus, that's a base hit into center field. That'll score the run, Ritter from third, and Virginia Tech leads Longwood, top second, one nothing. Here to Troll, who grounded out first time up, now with runners in scoring position. Troll, will it get down? It will, to the right field wall, and Darby Troll is going to have a two-run RBI double to make it 3 0 Virginia Tech as Lauder will score. Overitis will score on Troll's two run 
Ribby double, top second. Pitch, Kanagawa, slaw, fly ball, deep, center field, and gone. Two run, home run off the bat of Meredith Slaw. It'll run three zip to five zip, Virginia Tech. Two run blast for Slaw. And the Hokies lead five nothing over Longwood. Now Pepsi presents what fans like because Pepsi knows what fans like. Make sure you pick up an ice cold refreshing Pepsi today. Pepsi, that's what I like. The 0 and 2 swung on, missed, and there is strikeout number two in game two for Ivy Rosenberry to keep Tech on top, five nothing over Longwood. Top of the third next on ESPN Plus. Longwood and Virginia Tech here on ESPN Plus tonight on this Tuesday, being brought to you by Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. Visit Hercules Tires. Dot com by Ingalls. Low prices love the savings. By Sunbelt Rentals, we have equipment for that. And by First Citizens Bank, Forever First. Plus events, logs, supporting football, whatever it may be. That's a base hit and a roll to the right field wall off the bat of Addie Green. Green will get to second. She wants an RBI triple. Will she be safe at third? She's out, but the run will score. All the way around comes Federico, and it's now 10 0. Virginia Tech, top of the fifth, gave it a ride, tried to get there, but Addie Green, she had second. She had really two and three-fourths, but just couldn't get the completed trip to third. More on that in a second after New Till's 3-0 pitch. There it is. Bounce too short, deflected there off of Taylor, and that'll put a hokey on at first. It's Slaw with one away. Two and one, swung on, fly ball, deep left field and gone. Three run home run for Rachel Castine. In Castine's seventh plate appearance of the season, three runs, Luco, Peck, join Castine, and the Hokies have blown it open 13 to nothing, top fifth. I heard Chip going crazy, did you? With me, I did. <laughs> he was louder than I was. Inside the circle for Longwood, the senior from Dolestown, Pennsylvania, will enter, making her first appearance since Belmont back on the 26th. That is a base hit. Put down off the bat of Kaylee Addington to keep the run going. Top fifth as the Hokies have now scored four runs in back-to-back -back innings. Chavez. Handled at third to second, back to first, and that's an inning ending double play. Starts at third, Anderson around a second and first and puts an end to another big Virginia Tech inning. 13 nothing Hokies, bottom of the fifth, last chance next. That's what's at stake right here, right now. The pitch to Fox, swung on, missed. And that's a full five innings, complete game shutout in run rule fashion that time. The five innings for Rosenberry, and she blanks Longwood. A no-hitter in five for Rosenberry, and Virginia Tech sweeps the Tuesday doubleheader. 7-0 game one, 13-0 here in game two. What a powerhouse performance for those Virginia Tech Hokies who now move to 23-3 on the season in this non-conference sweep.